Hey everybody, Pastor Scott here. It is June 13th, 2020, and it's time for a daily psalm. Our psalm today is Psalm 74. You're going to hear it first from the Lutheran Study Bible in the New Revised Standard Version, page 929, and then you're going to hear it from the contemporary translation called The Message by Eugene Peterson. You may have noticed that a lot of these psalms are kind of dark. Uh, the circumstances they are written in, uh, there seems to be a lot of distress happening to the, the psalm writers. Uh, this is no exception. Our uh, Lutheran Study Bible notes identify it as possibly having been written after 587 BC, which was when uh, Jerusalem was sacked and the nation of Judah was pretty much uh, destroyed by the Babylonians. So a dark time indeed. And this is a response and a call out to God in a time like this. So here it is. Psalm 74. Oh God, why do you cast us off forever? Why does your anger smoke against the sheep of your pasture? Remember your congregation, which you acquired long ago, which you redeemed to be the tribe of your heritage. Remember Mount Zion, where you came to dwell. Direct your steps to the perpetual ruins. The enemy has destroyed everything in the sanctuary. Your foes have roared within your holy place. They set up their emblems there. At the upper entrance, they hacked the wooden trellis with axes. And then with hatchets and hammers, they smashed all its carved work. They set your sanctuary on fire. They desecrated the dwelling place of your name, bringing it to the ground. They said to themselves, we will utterly subdue them. They burned all the meeting places of God in the land. We do not see our emblems. There is no longer any prophet, and there is no one among us who knows how long. How long, O oh God, is the foe to scoff? Is the enemy to revile your name forever? Why do you hold back your hand? Why? Do you keep your hand in your bosom? Yet God, my King, is from of old, working salvation in the earth. You divided the sea by your might. You broke the heads of the dragons in the waters. You crushed the heads of Leviathan. You gave him as food for the creatures of the wilderness. You cut openings for springs and torrents. You dried up ever-flowing streams. Yours is the day, yours also, the night. You established the luminaries and the sun. You have fixed all the bounds of the earth. You made summer and winter. Remember this, O Lord, how the enemy scoffs and an impious people reviles your name. Do not deliver the soul of your dove to the wild animals. Do not forget the life of your poor forever. Have regard for your covenant, for the dark places of the land are full of the haunts of violence. Do not let the downtrodden be put to shame. Let the poor and needy praise your name. Rise up, O God. Plead your cause. Remember how the impious scoff at you all day long. Do not forget the clamor of your foes, the uproar of your adversaries that goes up continuously. And now, Psalm 74 from the message. You walked off and left us and never looked back. God, how could you do that? We are your very own sheep. How can you stomp off in anger? Refresh your memory of us. You bought us long time ago. Your most precious tribe. You paid a good price for us. Your very own Mount Zion. You actually lived here once. Come and visit the site of disaster. See how they've wrecked the sanctuary. While your people were at worship, your enemies barged in, brawling and scrawling graffiti. They set fire to the porch, axes swinging. They chopped up the woodwork. 
beat down the doors with sledgehammers, then split them into kindling. They burned your holy place to the ground, violated the place of worship. They said to themselves, we'll wipe them all out and burn down all the places of worship. There's not a sign or symbol of God in sight, nor anyone to speak in his name, no one who knows what's going on. How long, God, will barbarians blaspheme, enemies curse and get by with it? Why don't you do something? How long are you going to sit there with your hands folded in your lap? God is my king from the very start. He works salvation in the womb of the earth. With one blow, you split the sea in two. You made mincemeat of the dragon Tannin. You lopped off the heads of Leviathan, then served them up in a stew for the animals. With your finger, you opened up springs and creeks and dried up the wild floodwaters. You own the day. You own the night. You put stars and sun in place. You laid out the four corners of earth shaped the seasons of summer and winter. Mark and remember, God, all the enemy taunts, each idiot desecration. Don't throw your lambs to the wolves. After all we've been through, don't forget us. Remember your promises. The city is in darkness, the countryside violent. Don't leave the victims to rot in the street. Make them a choir that sings your praises. On your feet, O oh God, stand up for yourself. Do you hear what they're saying about you? All the vile obscenities. Don't tune out their malicious filth, the brawling invective that never lets up.